25 rules to be loved by everyone. Definitely be a top priority. Reverse psychology. Have you ever wondered why some people seem like magnets to women? Why they receive all the love and affection and why everyone loves and respects them? In this video, we'll share some fundamentals to make you a point of attraction for women or anyone in general. People will like you and value you. We'll share 25 techniques in 5 chapters, so keep watching and you'll know what to do. Without further delay, let's start the video. Chapter 1. Basics of building a solid foundation, confidence and effective body language. It all starts with understanding the basics. This chapter will cover the essential elements of developing self-confidence, interacting with others confidently and laying the groundwork for further improvement. Point 1. Confidence. Confidence is more than just a feeling, it's how you carry yourself. For example, setting and achieving small daily goals can boost your self-confidence. Practicing positive self-talk to overcome self-doubt and regularly stepping out of your comfort zone will help you handle situations with more composure and confidence. Point 2. Posture. Your posture conveys how you feel about yourself. Stand tall with your shoulders back and chest open. Imagine a string pulling you from the crown of your head, extending your spine. This posture shows confidence and makes you feel more confident. Practicing exercises in front of a mirror can help you become more aware of your posture. Point 3. Eye contact. Maintaining steady eye contact shows interest and sincerity. For example, when speaking with someone, hold eye contact for a few seconds at a time, then look away briefly to avoid staring. Practice maintaining a soft, welcoming gaze in conversations, which can enhance your connection with others. Point 4. Smile. A genuine smile is attractive and creates a positive impression. Practice smiling naturally in the mirror to see how it feels. A real smile involves both your lips and your eyes, making you appear more friendly and approachable. Point 5. Be present. Being fully present in a conversation means giving your full attention and avoiding distractions like checking your phone or scanning the room. By listening attentively and responding thoughtfully, you show respect and care for the person you're interacting with, which can strengthen your connections. Chapter 2. Building Connections. Understanding the Subtle Art of Non-Verbal Communication. This chapter explores techniques to interact with others on a deeper level through non-verbal cues and body language. Point 6. Mirroring. Mirroring someone's body language helps create rapport and empathy. For example, if the person you're speaking with crosses their arms, you might skillfully mimic this gesture. Pay attention to their gestures, posture and tone of voice and naturally mirror them to create a sense of connection. But be careful not to overdo it, as it might come off as insincere. Point 7. Touch. Touch can create an instant connection when used appropriately. For example, a light touch on the arm or a friendly handshake can establish rapport. Start with subtle touches and gauge the other person's comfort level by observing their reaction. If they seem receptive, you can gradually increase the level of physical contact while respecting their boundaries. Point 8. Proximity. Understanding personal space is crucial in building rapport. Position yourself at a comfortable distance that allows for easy conversation while avoiding crowding the other person. Standing too close can feel intrusive, while standing too far away might signal disinterest. Find a happy medium that allows for natural conversation flow. 
Point 9. Facial Expressions Your face can convey a range of emotions and communicate without words. For example, raising your eyebrows in surprise or interest shows engagement. Practice maintaining a relaxed and open expression, avoiding frowning or displaying negative expressions as these can be off-putting. Point 10. The power of pauses. Pausing can enhance the impact of your communication. For example, a moment of shared eye contact can create a sense of connection and chemistry. Allowing brief pauses before responding to questions can convey thoughtfulness and give the conversation a natural flow. Practicing these pauses can improve your communication style and build stronger connections. Chapter 3 Presentation – How you present yourself to others This chapter focuses on refining your appearance, physical presence and behavior to create a positive and lasting impression. Point 11 – Dress well Your clothing choices play a significant role in how you are perceived. Choose clothes that fit well and reflect your personal style. For example, select outfits that suit your body type and are appropriate for the occasion. Dressing well boosts your self-confidence and self-respect, making you more attractive and approachable. Point 12. Walk with confidence. The way you walk can convey purpose and self-assurance. Walk with a steady pace, keeping your head up and looking forward. For example, avoid dragging your feet, as this can appear shy. Practice walking with confidence to exude an aura of strength. Point 13. Open body language. Maintain open and approachable body language. For example, avoid crossing your arms, as this may seem defensive. Instead, Keep your arms relaxed and your torso facing the person. Engaging with this openness invites others to interact with you and signals that you are open to conversation. Point 14. Balance. Confidence with humility. Strike a balance between confidence and humility to avoid coming across as arrogant. For example, listen actively and show respect for others' opinions. Practice acknowledging other people's viewpoints and be open to feedback. This approach helps you maintain self-assurance while remaining grounded. Point 15 and feedback. Like any skill, mastering body language requires practice and feedback. Pay attention to how others respond to your non-verbal cues and adjust your approach accordingly. Experiment with different expressions, gestures and postures to see which ones elicit the most positive reactions. Continuous practice will enhance your communication and interaction skills. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed or liked the video yet, now is the time to do so. Let's continue. Chapter 4. Deepening Connections Engaging with others in meaningful ways. This chapter highlights how to enhance your interactions through thoughtful communication and creating lasting bonds. Point 16. Be fully present. Fully engage in conversations by giving the other person your complete attention. For example, avoid distractions like checking your phone or scanning the room with your eyes. This focus communicates respect and interest, fostering genuine connections. Point 17. Active listening. Active listening involves not only hearing what the other person is saying, but also responding thoughtfully. Practice nodding or using verbal affirmations to show that you're engaged in the conversation. This encourages deeper exchanges and demonstrates that you value their perspective. Point 18. Empathy. Put yourself in the other person's shoes to understand their feelings and viewpoints. 
Express empathy through gestures or supportive words, such as a gentle nod or a light touch on the arm. This emotional resonance can strengthen your rapport and create a lasting impact. Point 19. Subtle gestures. Use subtle non-verbal gestures to convey warmth and openness. For example, a slight hand gesture or a welcoming nod can make the other person feel comfortable and welcomed. Practice these small cues to build rapport naturally. Point 20. Respect boundaries. Pay close attention to the other person's comfort levels in terms of touch and space. For example, if they pull back or seem uneasy with physical contact, respect their boundaries and adjust your approach to show sensitivity to their needs and build trust. Chapter 5. Influence. Strategies to showcase charisma and positively impact others. This chapter delves into strategies for projecting charisma and influencing others in a positive way. Point 21. Confident body language. Project confidence through your posture and gestures. Stand tall with your shoulders back, practicing expansive gestures that convey openness and enthusiasm. Reinforce your message with non-verbal cues. Point 22. Dynamic speaking. Engage others through dynamic and expressive speech. Vary your tone and speed to maintain interest and convey emotions. Practice speaking clearly and articulately to ensure your message is delivered with impact and clarity. Point 23. Storytelling. Harness the power of storytelling to captivate your audience and effectively convey your message. Craft narratives that resonate with your listeners, drawing them in with vivid imagery and relatable experiences. Practice storytelling techniques to become a compelling communicator. Point 24. Charismatic Presence. Cultivate a magnetic presence that draws others to you by developing a warm and genuine demeanor that radiates authenticity and sincerity. Practice active listening and genuine curiosity about others, making them feel valued and understood. Point 25. Influence Strategy. Master the art of persuasion by understanding the principles of influence. Use techniques like reciprocity, social proof, and scarcity to guide others' behavior. Practice making decisions skillfully and apply these strategies ethically and responsibly in your interactions. Write down your thoughts in the comments below. We genuinely want to hear from you and we'll read and respond to each one. Thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips.